This vlog does contain spoilers for the 2024 Remy's Scavenger Hunt located inside of Epcot at Walt Disney World. If that is important to you, congratulations, you're a Disney adult. Welcome to the club. Not only am I a Disney adult, I am also a Disney World annual pass holder. I live in Orlando and I go all the time. And one of my favorite things at Disney World are the Epcot festivals. They have won pretty much every season. Festival of the Arts, my favorite in the early part of the year. There's Festival of the Holidays at the end of the year. But right before we get to the holidays, what do we have? Fall time. And Epcot's Fall Festival is food and wine. It's technically called the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. And I thought it would be fun if I brought you along. Oh, and by the way, I'm Melissa, and this is my channel. Show me your shirt. Yeah. First thing you do at any Epcot festival is get your festival passport and I'm really excited because I haven't looked at it. I haven't like seen any sneak peeks or anything. Hopefully it's not too loud in here. So many chairs are moving because it started raining outside and people are coming in. So if it gets a little squeaky, that's why. The clouds were kind of rolling in as we were walking into Epcot. So I thought it would be a good idea to come to the Connections Cafe and do one of my favorite things about there being an Epcot festival. The passport. I brought a highlighter. Don't laugh at me. I brought a highlighter because I like to go through and highlight the snacks that I'm most excited about trying. So that way when I'm like, flipping through it later because I'm a pass holder so I come here often and I just try to keep one passport through the whole festival and I kind of check it off and know what I want without having to look through it every time. I don't know. It's like a fun little tradition I have. has stopped we got a refill and now we are walking towards the world showcase but another thing that is also sort of tradition at Epcot festivals is the Epcot scavenger hunt and sometimes it's themed like I know during Easter it's themed to eggs but during the food and wine festival I'm pretty sure as long as I haven't changed it <laughs> then I'm not aware but I'm pretty sure it's themed to Remy so Austin's got his Ratatouille shirt on every time I got to hear drinking out of this cup. So basically there are little Remy's sprinkled around the World Showcase. I'm pretty sure he's at every pavilion and when you see him he's like holding some kind of food ingredient and so that's how you know which sticker to put where and at the end you get a free prize. What the prize is I don't know but we're gonna go find out and make that a part of our night today. Bro. 
<laughs> what am I oh, looking hey. at? Uh, the water. What about it? We're seeing if we can see any large fish. Any large fish? I don't see nothing. We got the bag. This is our map. It's got the World Showcase pavilions. These are our stickers, our Remy stickers. So like he'll be holding an eggplant in one of these countries and you just have to put the right sticker here and we get to pick up our prize at the end. And this was $8 with my pass holder discount. Did anything stick out to you in the passport? Uh, everything. You're just saying that? Yeah, everything. Is there a country you wanna to go to specifically? Uh, always Japan. Always Japan, okay. Well then we're going to start in Canada and make our way all the way around. And I really want to watch the fireworks tonight, so. I feel like, I feel like he's normally by the food pavilion thing, like the snack thing. Sometimes they kind of hide him. Where? Where? Oh, oh, that's a good eye. We gotta walk over there. That's a good eye. You can see what he's holding. We got you. Arriving in Rot! <laughs> and we're gonna look for Remy and then I'm gonna get a savory snack. I mean, it makes the most sense for him to be in the ratatouille section, yeah? But they might be tricking us. This is a brioche with escargot from the France Pavilion. Great. Ooh. Do I like this? <laughs> I can't decide. 3.5 out of seven on the savory scale. You know, okay, I have to be honest. I had escargot on a Disney cruise. That is the only time I've ever had it. And I literally think about it, like I like it. This is not my favorite thing. Like, I don't know. I just, I feel like the bread is not the right bread for this. We need something like crispier that can soak up all the juices. It's kind of soggy. It's like, I'm very weirdly picky about bread too. It's like, this is just not, not my kind of bread. But I'm gonna try Austin's snack now. <laughs> what is this, the beef tenderloin? What are these little balls? With potato. This potato? I love potato. <laughs> What's yours and mine, baby? Donde esta la ratata? Brazilians speak Portuguese. I don't know Portuguese, no sé. The run, the run, <laughs> I said the run for Remy. <laughs> the hunt for Remy continues at Tangerine Cafe. I'm so small, I'm trying to get the sign as we walk under it. What do you think he's holding? What are our options? Oh, found him. I think it's a carrot.
We walked right past him. for the fireworks show here. I don't think I've ever actually looked at it, so now I'm going to. Got sweatshirt, t-shirt, obviously, and a Christmas ornament. sunset right what time is it 6 40 so uh, we still have like an hour I want to finish it before sunset and then get a snack another one and find a good place to watch the fireworks The bow is removable, which I think is so fun because you can put it as like a bag charm or something. Remy, it's the Mexico. <laughs> no, I bet he's over here. Oh, he's right there. I am going to get some very spicy wings. They're called unnecessarily spicy yet tasty, something like that. Carolina Reaper wings. And you know, maybe I've watched too many episodes of Hot Ones, but I feel like it's gonna be fine. <laughs> These have a very long name, but they are Carolina Reaper wings. It's definitely spicy. Oh. <laughs> I swallowed that whole. Oh my gosh, hi. Have you had these? Those? The oh, Carolina Reaper ones? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. I that and I was like, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I, I'm scared in the moment. I'm sweaty a little bit now. Just now. Just now. You're like, don't panic. It's going to take about two and a half. 
Do you want to have it? I'm all the verge of tears. Is it good if I want to cry? I know, I'm like, I don't want to let it go because I'm scared if I let it go, I'll touch my face. It's like I'm really tempted to eat, uh, eat it again. No, no, I can't because I can't, but I really want to because it's good, but... I'm not going to be scared. Hmm, no more than that. I can't, I can't. I actually, that was a bad idea. The second bite was a bad idea. <laughs> Ow, my, my water burns. I'm unwell. That's how I feel. Alright, uh, I never have to do that again, but if you too would like to participate in Hot Ones, just come to Epcot. The sun is setting, and my lips are burning. Yeah, I still don't feel like I'm in my body. But <laughs> we're on our way to the mac and cheese booth, right? Uh, we're going to Australia. No, I, we're going to the mac and cheese booth, and then I think that Australia is somewhere, somewhere in here. Australia is the last sticker we need no, we before need more. counting the mac and cheese booth, yeah? Is that community for hall? Yeah. It's right I over guess, there. Okay, so technically in this moment, we have two left, but one is the mac and cheese booth and one is Australia. And then we can pick up our free gift. And by free, we mean $8.95 with cast member <laughs> discount. <laughs> Remy hunting. You found him? Oh. I think he might be inside. Remy, Remy. My paper straw broke. So now I'm just trying not to stab myself with it. I also feel really weird from these chicken wings. And now who is gonna tell me that eating spicy food can sometimes be seen as a toxin to your body and may cause severe side effects like heart palpitations, excessive thirst, sweating, literally people reporting instances of feeling high, okay? Let's just know that going into these next clips. Mwah. Look at the bowl. I found, I see the rat. The skillet. Rat in a skillet. Rat with a skillet. Right there. It's right there. I don't know the words. I'm sorry. <laughs> what, what would you rate this? One out of seven on the savory scale. Savoriness is talking to me. What's his name? Huh? A seven. Oh my a seven. God. Wow. <laughs> wow. I gave it a six. I just feel like there's other savory things deserving of a seven, and I didn't get it today, but we'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. Yay! Only one more Remy to be found. Uno mas. Uno mas. My bag literally just fell off. <laughs> this bag is so cute and I love munchlings and I love to wear it, but there's like a weird snap at the bottom of it and it keeps coming undone. Because <laughs> they give you one extra one. Are you sure we didn't miss any? No. They just gave you a Remy with a squash sticker for free. So that way if you put the squash, they know you're lying. They, <laughs> they know you didn't go around the world. Now we take our finished scavenger hunt right there <laughs> to this building. And we get our prepaid souvenir. <laughs> we made it around the world in two hours. 
it up. Yay! Which one would I like? I think. Yes, please. That would be really helpful. Oh, okay, cute. Okay, good, because I thought that was ready. <laughs> To know which one do you like one Austin do you like this oh do you like this one yeah okay we'll do this one please thank you oh sorry yay we got them we got them boys we got the Remy bowl it's so cute oh, oh. only eat the good stuff period Austin just informed me of something that I've never known. And we've been together for years. What did yeah, you say? Five uh, never ridden Spaceship Earth. He's never ridden Spaceship Earth, which is so random to me. It's like the first ride you see when you walk into Epcot. It, it is the Epcot ball, if you've never been here. The Epcot ball is not just like a cute structure. It has a ride inside. And I think it's like one of the OG rides. Like it has to have been. Yeah, of course, of course, that makes sense. That's what we're on our way to do since we've got some time before we need to find a place for fireworks. And it's kind of empty, so I don't think we're gonna have a hard time finding a good spot to watch them. Plus, you can literally watch them from wherever in the World Showcase. I can't remember the last time I rode Spaceship Earth, but it'll be fun! Yeah, yeah. You go through time. The monorail! Oh, is it the green one? <laughs> Say, it's my first time on Spaceship Earth. It's my first time on Spaceship Earth. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not close. There's just no one in line. It's closed. Aww. We tried to get on, but it's having technical issues, so we're probably just gonna end up merch shopping because this isn't a Melissa Goes to Disney vlog without merch shopping. Uh, it's That's so pretty. I never get sick of a Disney merch store. We've got Halloween stuff now, which is so fun. This is like the only way to gaslight myself into thinking that Florida has fall. Like I have to go out of my way to celebrate seasons. And you know, if buying a pair of Mickey ears makes me feel that way, so be it. They have a new pineapple collection, like Dole Whip collection. And these are the ears. It's not so fun. I love when the ears have like fun different elements. Like they're literally pineapple slices. And there's always a matching backpack too. And this is an Epcot cookie jar. mini montage of the Epcot fireworks show while I say thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful that you are here to watch these videos and that you enjoy them. Now I'm going to remind you to subscribe because there are definitely more Disney Diaries vlogs on the way. And until the next one, bye. Oh, and if you're not sick of me yet, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Melissa Black.